So it's the middle of November here in Washington. Our days are getting shorter um, since we're in the winter season. So I thought it was appropriate to talk about seasonal affective disorder today. So seasonal affective disorder is actually part of the depression and bipolar um, disorder groups. So most people think of it only as depression, but it can actually be depression, mania, or hypomania that occurs. But we most commonly see seasonal affective disorder presenting as depression during the fall and winter months. So that's what I'm going to talk about here. So seasonal affective disorder presents with the typical symptoms of depression. We're going to see changes in sleep. Most frequently we see hypersomnia, which means that you sleep longer hours, but you still have the fatigue usually that goes along with difficulty sleeping. Some people will experience insomnia, which means they have trouble sleeping, uh, whether that's trouble falling asleep, staying asleep, or they're just not getting enough hours at night. And so they are fatigued during the day. Changes, changes in appetite, most frequently an increase in appetite and especially carbohydrate cravings, weight gain and a lack of motivation. So the main ways that are, the main things that are used to treat seasonal affective disorder are really going to depend on the severity of seasonal affective disorder. So if you have a severe case, you're likely going to be treated with pharmaceuticals. Usually we start with selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, uh, frequently abbreviated as SSRIs. Um, and those might be used in combination with a bright white light box therapy. If your seasonal affective disorder is not as severe, it's more considered mild to moderate, we are going to implement lifestyle changes to help control that, as well as the possibility of using the bright white light box therapy. So the changes that you can make all on your own that are going to be safe for everyone are going to be to really work on your sleep wake cycle. So what I mean by this is implementing a bedtime that you are going to go to sleep at every night at the same time. No staying up late on the weekends or having a binge Netflix night. You're going to go to sleep every night at the same time. And every morning you are going to set your alarm and wake up at the same time. Okay. It's really important to do this consistently seven days a week, not just five days a week and sleeping on the weekends. Um, creating that routine is really helpful in helping your brain understand when you're supposed to be asleep and when you're supposed to be awake. And it's helpful for increasing your overall energy and your mood. The other thing that's really easy to do is go outside and go for a walk. And even though I say it's really easy, it can be really hard to start doing this, especially when you are depressed. Um, and even though here in Seattle, it is cloudy most of the time during those daylight hours, when the sun is still up in the sky, even though it's being blocked by the clouds, there are some rays that do still come in through those clouds. Okay. And so it's important for you to absorb those and get those, even though you may not be able to see or feel the sunlight on you. The best time of the day to do that is going to be between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. When we're sure that the sun is up there, it's pretty much overhead, not at a really severe angle where you're getting less rays. You're going to be getting the most between 10 and 2. And getting a light box can be extremely beneficial. Up to about 60% of people will see a remission in their depression from using a bright white light box for therapeutic purposes. You do have to use this daily and there are specific light boxes that you need to get. You can't just go on and buy a really cheap product. Um, they do range in price a lot, but depending on the power of the box that you get will depend on how much you need to use it. And what I mean by that is, do you need to use it for 20 minutes a day or do you need to use it for two hours a day, which is gonna suck up a ton of your time. Um, so you really wanna get what's gonna be the most effective and efficient for you. So I'm going to talk about that in the next video here. So stay tuned for that.